Jambo Jambo guys this is your guys Zeke and welcome to Just Zeke show mwanzee vile tulipromise wase tutakuwa na waletea mahasala wase wanajituma hapa nje Doha pale mtaani uh, anyway hata kama ni Dubai kama wewe ni msanii ama wewe ni hasala unajituma tutakutafuta ama pia utatutafuta tukuweke kwa show motivate wase kushare story yako kama ni mrefu ama fupi as long as una motivate wase hivi ndio tunataka na ndio tutakuwa naleta kwa show so leo tuko na none other than umsani wakisema ati kwangu wewe muongo mambo mengi kukusu hiyo ni jamaa hasla amejituma tacha jipige intro na tuambia atoka wapi pale mtaani anafanya nini doha ama nini limleta doha unajua doha kila mtu everyone has a story so jamaa atapatia story yake fupi hapa hapa tuko motivate wase pale mtaani and then uh, pia kama uko na pia ka story pata kutu encourage hapo kwa comments hiyo Karibu bro, ni aje brother. Kwa sana bro. Safi sana. Mara ya pili tena. Kupatana. Eh. Watu wali kurequest mbaya sana. <laughs> Nashukuru sana yeah. obvious. Kama labda waliona, niko na kitu naweza taka kushare na wao. Mm. Time imefika ndio. Eh? At least we share something with them. Mm-hmm. Because mimi naamini kitu moja. Vile tu umesema uh, kila mtu ana ana story to share. Mm-hmm. Na kama kila mtu ana story to share, yes somebody is th- outside there maybe he's undergoing a same uh, situation maybe nilikuwa hata kama sija set ni make it mm. but the less steps nimefanya kwa life maybe naweza kukwambia mambo mawili matatu kesho ukanyage kama mimi maybe uko in a better position mm. so sije kusema ati mimi niko best hapana bado kila siku tunapa tuna, tuna pedal tunajaribu kufika pale mm-hmm. so kwa majina naitwa Zigi hiyo ndo jina yangu mpya jina ya sana ya uh, sana as in naitwa Zigi double z i double g mm-hmm. y ndo jina yangu usanii mm-hmm. ilikuwa kitabu naitwa Zoa Baraka mm-hmm. due to some issues nika have to change the name because of many bicoses but yeah mimi ni Zigi call me Zigi youtube naitwa naitwa Zigi yeah that's it So Ziggy unatoka mtaa wapi? Mtaa nimetoka nimetoka Nairobi. Mm-hmm. Nilikuwa na ship place inaitwa Isili. Mm-hmm. Apo nilikuwa na hasla, nilikuwa na nilikuwa na shop zangu bado nilikuwa napiga biashara zangu hapo. Mm-hmm. And uh, after covid kuna issue tu zilini happenia. Mm-hmm. Uh, zini hali happenia karibu kila mtu. Mm-hmm. So I had to lose maybe kama kila kitu yangu ni kama ili ni kunywa maji biashara zangu ni kama zilikunywa maji. Mm-hmm. Ya yeah, hadi ni kama nilikapoteza hadi family so mm-hmm. unacheki issue tu zili happen mm-hmm. na wakati zili happen zilinipata ni kama off guard ilikuwa ngoa two time nime nimekuwa ni kama sina do at that time mm-hmm. but zili happen na wakati zili happen mimi unajua kila mtu vile nimesema kila mtu ana story zake mm-hmm. because mimi naza ishia in a different way useme ah huyu msi anajiongelea sana unasahau mtu mwingine mimi nataka niongee in general wakati ili tupiga kila mtu mtu alipata akuwa off guard kama mimi kuna vitu kuna mali nilikuwa nimeshaekeza do zangu so wakati ili nipiga nilikuwa na double sure hey, next month nitakuwa nitakuwa nita, nita nishaerudisha ile do nishaekelea but ili nipiga wenye hakuna mtu angenisaidia so vile ilienda ilienda hiyo but siku give up nilipedal back na ndo huyu sasa nimejaribu ku come back na before that nilikuwa ngamsanii vile tu nimewaambia before that i was an artist Yeah so baraka was jina kubwa na pia mtu mwenye amekomentia pale kwa YouTube bebi angataka kujua huyo zi huyo zo, zo baraka aliendanga hapo tena bap ndo huyo zigi mm-hmm. ama ni aje mm-hmm. so at the end of the day eh ukienda kwa YouTube yangu angalia zo baraka utaangalia ngoma nilikuwa nafanya nilikuwa ni kama nilikuwa nafanya gospel ndo la kweli na nadhamani alironi peni na mimi wake mwana nilikuwa mimi mkosefu sasa hivi nimeitwa wake mwana na nikama na kuelezea hiyo jina zigi na na zoa baraka ilipotelea wapi so ni kama nilikuwa nafanya gospel but, but according to me me I was just doing good music mm-hmm. nilikuwa nafanya music hapo hata wakati nilikuwa nimeenda chini kwa life some of my music ndo zilikuwa zina encourage na jiambia nilikuwa naimbia watu good music na jaribu kuambia music yangu ilikuwa ku encourage watu and how comes bona wewe ziko encourage So kuna ngoma ilikuwa inaenda inaitwa panda shuka. Mm-hmm. So wakati my life ilipiga pale chini, hiyo mm-hmm. ngoma ilikuwa inaniambia maisha ni kupanda. Mm-hmm. 
que sou una chuca, una pokuta una chuca, tia bidi na que sou tainuka. Now that music nilifanya collab na another artist. So hiyo ngoma ilikuwa inanipea morari na niambia zo kama ulimbia watu na ulikuwa unaimbia watu wa, wa, get, wa, wa get testimony from you wa jaribu kwa motivate. Mbona isiku motivate wewe? So ndo nikapini nika, nika, nika ngangana nika ngangana nikapiga biga mboka zangu. Mm-hmm. Kidogo kidogo tuseme ka goda kaingililia vitu zangu ni kama zikajipa. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that's why niko hapa Doha. So yeah. ni nini nini lifanyika mpaka uko jipata Doha kama msanii mwenye alikuwa amesha nikaasha make it ama ulikosha make step kama msanii nili kupeleka Doha. Okay, nikiangalia sasa ina white ango. Mm-hmm. Eh vile nua sema nilikuwa nafanya mziki poa. Mm-hmm. Jina ilikuwa poa na mziki ilikuwa mziki ilikuwa inalipa na si ati mm-hmm. mziki alipagi. Unajua watu wakiona ga msanii most of the time wanafikiria ga watu wenye wajui art art itself wanafikiria ngao msetu ni play mm. wanafikiria ga mziki ilipi mimi nayo nimefanya mashows nimenipea do nilikaamini nimewekeza kwa video na video ikanipea nikaenda ikanipeleka ika, ika, ika miles mm. nimepiga show hadi Tanzania nimepiga show Uganda nimepiga show Burundi mm. Kilimanjaro huko so uko kwote nilikuwa na unajua most of the time watu wa waku, watu wenye wani wa home wanakuona nga mtu wa kawaida mm-hmm. lakini watu wa pale nje wanakuona nga star unajua mtu akujui akujui sana anajua hiyo part yako ya social media yeah. huyo mtu hata kikutia deal kulingana vile umeji package mm-hmm. obvious atakupea deal inaweza si ndio mm-hmm. so mimi nilikuwa nimeji package poa eh, lakini kuna mahali ilifika nga nikapata family mm-hmm. nikapata 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 wife mm-hmm. and Nili, kama tuseme nilipata mtu hako na support what i wanted but me do you love i was thinking maybe we good mm. so ikakutani kama ile ndoto yangu ya mziki ikaanza kufifia nika concentrate na family mm-hmm. which si vibaya hata si, kuna kuna place jafika ngani wa ku regret niseme nilipata na mtu wrong no mm-hmm. she's not wrong mimi nasema ga we only we only meet people with reason hata huyo friend yako uko na yeye muna ilipata mlipata na yeye na good reason mm. so at the end of the day mimi nikapata na mtu kama ule ambapo ni kama siko najua because uh, wakati una wakati uko kwenye mahusiano una focus na chenye chenye ni saizi sometimes unasahau kesho yako mm. so nilieka attention yangu hapo wote so hata wakati covid ndio yeye imekaa imepiga <laughs> so nimesema nimwambia pale mwanzo mm eh nilipoteza di family so something of the sort ili happen mm. wakati ili happen mimi nikabaki matani eh so nikacho kwa giza na at the end of the days that's when i push on bro so covid ilikuja eh, na family na ikakuja kiboko bro you can imagine mm-hmm. so unajua wasanii wengi kwanza wanaume mm. unaona mtu anakufa na depression let me just tell you guys Ukiona anga msanii amepigwa unaona msanii ame ameka ame life yake poa all of a sudden ameenda mitini wasani kama 90, 90 depression inakupiganga because utaki kuji speak unataka kuweka yule usta kwa nini hauna uh, kitu lakini unataka kuonyesha watu uko bado poa so in the process depression inakupiga design unakosa hadi morali ya kuishi unakosa hadi mtu akuelezea chenye unataka yani venye life yako hivyo mimi nasema <coughs> the less the less ni men the less steps nimefanya kwa life hadi hapa nikafika kuna mtu wako pale angia kanyaga kama angia angia fika penye nimefika mm. si ati sisi ndo mashujaa sana hapana si ati sisi ndo sisi ndo tunajua sana hapana mm. but mimi na, nataka kushajia the, the little for the person who who is outside there mm boy chad kama mimi anajaribu ku pedal back inakataa because hana mtu wa kumsupport because hana mtu wa anezaita kama friend amwambieni aje niko hivi na hivi life imenipiga hivi sunsaidie jia ya ku come back una get so mimi nilikuwa ile design the, the same among them mm-hmm. na angalia anga wasanii wengine sitiwezi mtaja hapa ni sema like, this guy died because of depression Wasanii hadi nyinyi mnawajua kwa mtandao huyo msi alikufa juu ya sababu ya depression. Mm-hmm. Depression iko depression is real. Mm-hmm. Unakuwa unajaribu kufocus, unajaribu kujiuliza maswali mingi, mimi najiuliza sasa 
kuliendaje nimepoteza family sasa nimeanza bro nilianza kupiga hadi job za za mtaani ni muziki nilikuwa na na kampuni na na nilikuwa na duka zangu zenye ziko fiti muziki iko poa mimi nishakuwa hadi donda yani kulikuwa ka grace period of maybe one year but to me it was like five years naona ni kama nimeka five years before nirudisha my life back to to where it is maybe now so nilikuwa na hard time but naaminisha ule mtu wako pale chini kama mimi nilipedal na nikasimama upia hata wewe unaweza unacheki yeah so place huko saa hizi unaeleweka ni ni tofauti na mtaani yeah. kama unacheki hapa tuko middle east yeah. gulf yeah. gulf country hawatambui secular music actually like uh, pande hii ya ya inchi ama pande hii ya country yeah. ya world hawatambui yeah. muziki mostly yeah pia dini itambui muziki yeah. wewe kama sasa hivi unafanya usanii hapa Katara ama yeah. okay acha kuna 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 kitu moja na juanga generation who come na inapita mm. generation uanga zinaenda ziki change mm. eh, the reason why umesa, unajua umeleta um, um, suzu yako tu yani kama umeleta tu straight maybe huko unajua unaileta straight wenye ngoma nataka we come but mm. imekam vile inataka mm. so kuna kuna ingo ma yangu inaitwa gudi gudi ile ngoma nimefanya na mkatari ule ni mwarabu mm-hmm. ule ni muislamu mm-hmm. na the song is talk, talking about good good yeah video itatoka so soon mm-hmm. uh, song talks about kujibamba ni secular mm-hmm. si semi tena ni gospel ni secular si semi tena ni secular because ni some ngoma tu mzuri mm-hmm. so watu wanasema nga middle east is a failure destination outside there So ingo ma yangu inaitwa gudi gudi because ndo nilipea ule jamaa tukafanya naye akaeka verse zake mm-hmm. to me i was just saying to tell my friends life here is good mm-hmm. life here is gudi gudi mm-hmm. that's why unasikia everything is gudi gudi 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 so the song is like najaribu kuambia wase vitu ziko poa So si ati mziki haifanyi. Mm-hmm. So nikiwa hapa Qatar mimi nafanya napiga job yangu. Mm-hmm. Na nikipata during my free ses- my free times, my off times naingia studio na record mm-hmm. because at the end of the day the home is the best. The home is the best. Yeah, so niko na projects mingi mafans wangu wanajua wanataka kunisikia kunisikia tena na tena. Me I know you guys love me despite despite of many challenges nishanda go na job mnanipenda. So so soon tawapea kazi baada ya kazi mm-hmm. so size ni kuziandaa kuziandaa ile time nitafika kuachilia yeah nitawachilia na roho moja so hapa hivi doha wa nini fans wako wamekurisivaje kama msanii kutoka Kenya okay nimepiga tu events everything here looking very good na nime nimejaribu my best ku, ku be, my point is nataka ku ku break hiyo barrier kama cha kitu umesema kama hiyo barrier kusema middle east watu mziki watu watambuya ah my point is to raise kenyan flag high mm. how mimi nikifanya ngoma na mkatari Katari wanajulikana si watu wazuri watu wanasema anga wanakuanga watu wabaya they don't mm. help each other they don't they don't help black people but this guy tumekuwa tukipaga naye shughuli na yeye is like my brother now we can move anywhere mimi nafanya job different mm. na yeye anafanya job different mm. hakuna mahali tunahusiana but mm. tumeshapata na pale kwa mtandao tuka meet in person mm. the long story hiyo takuja kufanya maybe ile time tutakuwa tunachambua tuna, tuna hiyo ngoma yangu mm. so tulipatana that dude and the vibe imekuwa ikigrow vile tulijiona naye first time sio venye tunajiona naye size mm. size is more than a bro to me mm. so my fans wame wa, wa receive poa sana nimejaribu ku push it na unajua sasa ni kama nime, ni kama nilijikubali nilikuwa chini so lazima niende na baby steps yeah true pale tiktok nime push it mm-hmm. pale instagram nime push it mm-hmm. facebook nime push it i'm just trying to push it harder because my key point hii sasa si vita ya mimi zigi ni vita ya kimataifa man tunajaribu <laughs> <International>. international <laughs> yep, yep. so mine is to Kenya flag to be high mm-hmm. so nimepiga hiyo ngoma moja sasa hizi niko na ngoma kadhaa nimefanya mm-hmm. na pro mimi naambia tu kweli 
mimi sina kiki mimi nasema anga ukuli from my heart nimeshafanya ngoma na mkatari nimeshafanya ngoma na msri lanka na mfanya ngoma na muindi nimefanya mm-hmm. ngoma na mtanzania nimeshafanya ngoma na zibambwe artist au ni wasani wangao si wasita mm-hmm. hizo ni project ziko ziko ready mm-hmm. eh, mbili ndio sijakamilisha which nitakamilisha najua mafans wangu wanataka kusikiza nitabounceaje na beat ya muindi mm-hmm. najua mafans wangu wanataka kujua aje tena Tanzania aje tena Zimbabwe so mm-hmm. my guys should be ready and wait because I, my music is to inspire me my point of doing music is nothing else just to inspire so yeah. wewe kama msanii yeah. na uko doa unajua doa is a working nation yeah una mka asubuhi una unapiga tena wazako unarudi umechoka yeah. so una balanceaje mpaka unapata time ya kwenda studio bro okay to me many, many people just ask the same question mm. But to me mimi kuna kitu moja najua you become what you want you become what you desire you become what what you thrive to be so mimi si mind hata kama na work kama na work 15 hours mimi nitapata nafasi poa ya kuimba i know that mm. it's the passion. passion it's not all about that nafasi iko ama hakuna because what what driving you to do something do everything because mimi nikitoka sikwani nikitoka kwa my room kwenda kwa kwenda kwa job sina panda gari hiyo mm. time na panda gari bado nitaimba nitaenda nikijaribu kodi kwa mstari yeah. no, so si ati hapa pia ati nimekuja kujibamba do most of the the most important thing here i'm mm-hmm. just doing my job mm-hmm. i just doing my job this is this is not our country mm-hmm. but we are trying to use our the best chance we get mm-hmm. to to make it big si kuna wasani wamekujanga hapa doa wamerudi bado Kenya maybe wajafanya kitu so i'm just saying ama wengine wamekuja wakafanya makubwa mm-hmm. so my point is i want to be the best mm-hmm. yeah ile time nitaka hapa want to give my fans let them know nothing is unstoppable nothing nothing, nothing is limited yani mm-hmm. you can go wherever you want mm-hmm. the less na, the less uh, nafasi unapata kwa life una, na utilize mm-hmm. na get sasa hata ni, ni kuna, kuna guy, kuna this guy alikuwa ananiuliza wewe ulipata naje na na huyo this guy za Makatari mlipata naje and was like hii mtandao tu Kenya unatafuta ndo utapata kama unatafuta unatafuta nguo kali si utazipata ya kama unatafuta saa kali si utapata kama unataka simu kali si utapata kama unatafuta msanii bado utampa utampata so that's how it, it happened yeah So uh, kama wewe msanii hapa Doha yeah. saa zingine nyu pata ga show saa zingine unagawa wasanii wanatoka mtaani yeah. na ma producer pia wako hapa wana wanajaribu kuwa sukuma au yeah. ma producer in short tu inaweza kuwa wana mitu expectation kama msanii wa hapa local sasa unajua hapa si tuko local eh yeah, sasa tuko local Kenya ni international <laughs> sasa hapa local wewe msanii wa hapa local yeah. 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 do they meet your expectation na ama kuna vile pia Okay kuna kuna challenges mm. because unacheki sasa sasa wewe sasa hizi uwezi toka hapo anza kupiga zile show za Waarabu mm. kama unaimba hii afro yetu ni afro mm. uwezi enda kupiga show kwa Waarabu so kuna wao say organizer wa hapa wamefua kwa na maklabu zao these guys from Kenya maybe these guys from Africa let me, let me just talk about Kenyans because nishafanya nishaenda club kadhaa Unapata those uh, those uh, watu wenyewe wako na gig zao watambuagi what is their years most of the time because what is their years by now ni mimi msanii niko local here mm. but wanataka msanii mwenye anatoka South Africa akuja apige show hapa mm. si semi ni vibaya na at the end of the day na si ati ati tutatuta force mtu atupende but hawakukonsidi hivyo wanakonsidio umekuja kupiga job uja kuja ku mimi niko na kipaji bro. Mimi najua nikiachilia ngoma inafaisikizwe. Ninaweza perform, naweza perform, nimefanya ni, ni, ni perform kama vile huyo msanii kutoka Nigeria na kuja perform. Mm. But unajua ile si same mistake kutumia jina Kenya but I don't know the day uko ndo home, uko ndo mtaa. Hiyo tu sisi si wenyewe tunajijua. Ni kama hatupendi ku support what is our own. Mm. Una get. So unapata unaenda kwa show hata ni kama unangangana upewe hiyo nafasi u perform but at the end of the day bado tuna push it harder so the moment this other country watakukubali the, the moment sasa mkenya wako wako nakukubalingi so in short no jaribu kusema yani 
bado hamjakuwa na connection na maproducer wadoa bado okay. sasa ni okay ma, ma producer uh. different wewe umesema umefikira umeweka kuhusu promoters unajua promoters and producer ni tofauti ni tofauti so producer uh. wako hapa Kenya ah, wa, wa, producer wako hapa uh, ni wa, ni wa beigali uh. na which which is good pia ma producer wapa wenye utapata na hawa hizi countries zingine hawezi deliver exactly thing unajua kuna ile wa african kuna ile tu taste yetu mm. tuko na hiyo taste yetu mm. yani hatuwezi pata hiyo taste kwa producer wa kawaida mm. so the first thing thing unafanya kama mimi for example me are just trying to work with producers from africa hawa wengine tu yani naleta ngabi tu wanakuja kumalizia kuguza vitu kidogo at least ndio tupate taste maybe kama hizo makolabo nimekuwa nikifanya mm. kama ya huyo muindi nilifanya the song is called uh, ranku sasa hiyo ngoma iko na iko na iko na zile kayamba zimechezwa kule nyuma mm. zile ni za kiindi mm. but producer wangu nimewaka na producer kwa Kenya mm. una get mm. sawa that's it so kuna ile challenging but at the end of the day Msani ni msani bado ana push it hard. Yeah. yeah. So where comes ni mwenye uko doa? Kuna yeah. wasanii wengi sana hapa doa as in watu ni wasanii na different ways. Na watu juu ya zile shida ziko mtaani wamejituma kuja doa. Sasa wewe yep. being one of them. Una yeah. advice nini hawa wasanii hawa kwa hapa? Uh, na, na nataka ni waambie kitu moja. Unity unity ina ina ina, ina wanga ina kill barriers. Unity yani inafanya nga mfanye makubwa bro kama kunaweza kuwa na unity hakuna kitu impossible mm. tunaweza kuwa na unity tuna have my event zetu i can't pia tujakaziwa hivi wenye watu wanataka kuilete pale Kenya tujakaziwa tuna freedom man yeah. bora fanya kazi yako during your free time una freedom yeah, una freedom do your own things do your own things mm. shine man ukirudi Kenya unarudi jina yako ikuwa different bro yeah true mm. so tukikuwa na unity tupatane tuongee na tu tukue watu machua tuwaje kujibamba tuna hizi ma social media tu a a tukue tu work, tu work on projects mm. men tukirudi Kenya tutakuwa people who are unstoppable mm. they will take as a international artist Now, that's what i believe mimi na amini ni a matter of time mm. i trust the process mm. kila siku kila siku bado nafanya something siku ikiruka kama sijafanya kitu nasema ah lakini kesho nitafanya kitu kubwa mm. yeah Okay kuna point umeguzi hapo kasema hapa yeah. tuko job yeah. na tuko na social media pia yeah. so kama yeye ni msanii uko pale nje una plan uko msanii mkubwa ukitoka doa as in size unatafuta doa ya producer unatafuta doa ya video na umelala tu kejani after job anza kutengeneza jina as at now as yeah. early as now uanze kutengeneza brand yeah. by the time unafika mtaani ushatengeneza platform umeshakuwa na fans yeah. ukianza ku release tu hivi wa fans wako wanaanza kusikiza True. so usilale yeah. so ukiwa na day off ukiwa na time kako tafuta wasanii wengine wako hapa yeah. doa connect True. pale social media fanyeni yeah. ka project kama ni ka short short reels pale yeah. tiktok pale mm-hmm. youtube wapi as in watu tu kwe at least wa fan wa fans wako wanako uko live si eti yeah. umenyamaza after 10 years ndio tunakucheki na pia ile touch ulikuwa nao kiwa ali stages za 20s huwezi kwa nao kiwa 30 so guys mjitume true 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 mm-hmm. bro vile umewaambia ni ukweli mm-hmm. watu wajitume watu wajitume watu wajitume lakini kuna kitu na acha ni emphasize on your point mm-hmm. uh, for a, uh, umesema mtu akika kama miaka 10 years after na urudi kwa game vile tu umesema ni that's a perfect truth mm-hmm. bro test itakuwa imechange ita hizo ngoma less with u, u remix ndio upe watu tena yeah, because change t- test itakuwa imechange watu wanataka generation itakuwa ingine tofauti so usiteke tena kukana hizo ngoma sana kama una project tutafutane tusaidiane tuacha tuonyeshane mimi nikifanya hivi na wewe ufanya hivi tutakuma hii kazi ya msanii mmoja mm. lakini sasa unajua watu wasanii wengine wanafikiria anga kila mtu anajipenda okay si vibaya kujipenda by the end of the day tu sijuli toka wapi bro sijuli toka wapi mwingine unacheki lakini tukikuwa na ile sisi wote ni wa Kenya Man, tunakuwa na movement moja kubwa sana. Yeah, Mimi napenda nga vile wa Nigeria wanafanyaga. Nigeria kipata msanii wao hata kama ni upcoming anasukumaga na roho moja. Isonge isonge. Isonge iende because uni wetu. Mm. Tukikuwa na hiyo hati ya kupush mtu mmoja sisi wengine tutashine. Yeah, true. Huyo yeah. akishine yake fika pale akisema sio huyo msia kona project na shika mkono tunaru. Yaani yeah. yeah. tunasukumana huyo anasukuma huyo anasukuma huyo anasukuma huyo anasukuma huyo. Mm. Yeah another thing ni ati msanii anafaa jue vile unatengeneza jina vile unapanda usikirie unapendwa na kila mtu we just know that 
ile time ulikuwa unafanya mziki pale nyuma kama ulikujoka drop si ile watu wale wote wenye walikuwa ngama fans wako walikuwa ma fans some of people were your fans na them others were not your fans so kitu tunaweza kuambia we usitake kusikiliza chenye unaambiwa na watu usitake we focus na kutafuta market kama ni hapa hizi hizi sino market ni tofauti push it beyond kama ni hiyo dubai tafuta mtu kama zeki ya kuonyesha kuendanga kuna ndango dubai aje unacheki <laughs> i'm just kidding so at the end of the day tumia hii nafasi best ukirudi kenya twende tusetu twende tukagurushe country yetu so hapo nyuma umesema ati si kila mtu mwenye si fan wote za ngoma yako ni fan wako true na si kila mtu mwenye anakufollow tiktok ama yeah. youtube ama facebook ni best yako kuna hata my enemies pale anakufollow step by step kwa tu nyuma yako anangoja ufail true step by step si hata amekufollow ni best yako kwa ama ni fan ah uh-uh. ah nika ene mitu fulani yeah, ama nika stoka tu fulani yeah. kanangoja uanguke aseme ah huyu jamaa niliwaambia ataenda yeah. mbali mm. so hizi hizi vitu ni zambi wase juu umekuwa pale yeah. ni zambi wase mimi mafanso nyo umekuwa pale nyuma wamekuaje let me tell you the truth yeah. the truth hata watu wako hapa wana wanasikia the truth is that for upcoming it's easier for comeback ina kuanga very hard why because msania ki ile time alikuwa alikuwa juu alikuwa nafikiria watu wote ni mafa ni mafans this person anajua akirudi kwa game wale watu wa mafans wake wale watu walikuwa na sukuma muziki zake you know those the same people wakati uli drop walitengeneza story about you walisema tulikuwa najua huyu msezi enda so mbaki. you thought at with they were your fans my friend walikuwa na kufollow tu waone ukidunda mm. so try for the best Yaani wacha kushinda ukikonsetti na those people na watu watakupea energy ndogo utashindwa ku come back vizuri mm. utashindwa yani unaona mtu msania stage mtaja kuna wasanii wamejaribu ku up come eh, ku back kwa game but this because anafikiria those people are still their fans anawapelekea project maybe wa kushehie they don't do that mm. because huo mtu ali, kuna ka negativity fulani alitengeneza kwa life yako ah kwa nini kwa story yako na akaambia wase ni kwa job msi hata make it so this person ukimpelekea project tena na obviously huo msi alishasema wewe huwezi enda mahali what do you think mm. yeah. this person atachukua project yako na hata ipush mm. so my best advice to every person wewe ukifanya muziki ukipea mtu asikume asisikume wewe just go umeni nimepea zeki Zeki alikuwa anga fans wangu kitambo. Zeki sio mwisho. Ya kama mimi naweza guzaduki story story yangu nilikuta there are some DJs walikuwa my friends. Lakini because wali wali walisikia Ziggy alichapa na alibeat. This person can never support me because hata yeye alichangia kupeana story akasema I know this guy hakuna mahali angeenda. So sasa ile ameona Ziggy amesimama na niko back. This person is like come say najua atadunda tena so hakuna haja ni msupport. Badala uangalie huyo mse amengangana aje akafika hapo penye amefika wewe unafikiria kumweka chini kabisa. Na that's why unaona msanii amejaribu ku come back ameenda chini. Hiyo that's the only thing bro. Because unajaribu kupiga kwa the same market penye ulisha undanga jina tena ukaribu jina. So the best thing a person anaweza fanya ni ya go for every moves zenye wako kanyaga uende ukikanyaga huko. Yeah, that's why unaona msanii anatoka nje ya Kenya ama anatoka ana, unasema na anasemaga nabii hakubalikangi kwao because another people another person amunya kujui huyo si wenyu na hata ku support kama mimi na, napenda sana these people from Ghana they have been wamekuwa menishikilia tu sana ni kama mimi ni their brothers hata ukiangalia hata ukiangalia hata kwa Instagram ah nini kwa post zangu unapata those people wameshanipedaga tu sana Sisemi wa Kenya wanipende wa Kenya wananipenda tu sana but najaribu kuemphasize hiyo point ya this guy this guy because alikuwa anga juu asifikirie wale watu wenye walikuwa wanapanda nao juu walikuwa anga mafans mm. ah ni si wote si wote mm. si wote yes si wote but kuna wa mafans true kuna mafans wanasema zigi mimi na kuaminia mazigo unaona mtu hadi anashia ngoma yako ni kama ni kama wewe ni brother yake at the end of the day these are the true fans we have So Ziggy we unaweza encourage nini wase pale mtaani tukimaliza hii show. Yeah. Wa jamaa anataka kuja Doha, maybe hata kama ni msanii maybe ako in denial. Yeah. In denial hataki kwenda Doha yeah. ati 
Haizi fanya kazi yani msanii anategemea tu studio. Hoja watu wa sanii mnakuwa gatu yani kuna vile tu maendeleo na kwa focus na usanii. Nataka yeah. nikwambie wewe usiimbe. Bro, yeah. let me tell you something. As in a lot of investment is needed in music. Na investment itatoka wapi? Uta invest na nini? Na ile job unafanya ndio unabebi uta utafikiri. Unajua kuna watu wanafanya ngamziki tu. Lakini music ukifanya kama eh, kama career itape. Ukijua nafaa kupeleka hii channel na paku kupusha hapa hivi italu, italudisha. Lakini kama unafanya mziki for fun like mziki na drop kwa YouTube. Sasa ni kama this guy alikuwa ananiambia mbona zoe to drop hii video umekaa sana video me I know what I'm doing man. Mm-hmm. Nataka kwanza nirudishe ni, nipate ma fans man. Mm-hmm. That's why I'm pushing the audio. Mm-hmm. The moment awapea video kama kufikisha subscription 1000 imen trick imen kwa imen chukua imen kwa trick lakini ndio na uko na pale TikTok uko na 1000 subscribers maze. uko na Instagram uko na 14000 followers my friend ni kitu ndani tatizanga ni kitu ndani tatizanga YouTube uko na 400 yo kitu yo kitu ni sumbuaga lakini YouTube maze YouTube si nyinyi bado mnachukua ngoma mnaangalia mnaangalia ngoma zingine YouTube si bado ndio wamesubscribe kwa munga hii kwa wamesubscribe zijii kwa kina hebu subscribe yani just zeki hapa yani subscribe kwa pia sisi ni wasanii pia sisi ndaleta content si hii so you guys should know this Usani ni, ni, ni kazi man. Yeah, ni kazi. Kwanza kutafuta subscriber, subscribers. Kama, kama saa hii tume take time kukaa hapa kuongea lakini watu wata watch lakini a uh, thousand views lakini likes ni 100. Ah guys. 100 wameenda. Tuache kukua hivyo man. <laughs> yaani like tu hii kazi. Mazee ni kazi jo. Hii kazi, kazi ni kazi ya kupiga hii setup na tukae hapa bro sio kitu rahisi. So you my guys just go and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Wewe ndo utafanya nifike nitimize ni, ni malengo ya kukupea good music. Mm. So if mimi na ku inspire maze gonga like gonga uh, subscription, gonga like comment kwa any project of me. Hata kama ni MP, hata kama ni ngoma yote utasikiza yangu. Go and subscribe for me. Na najua nothing is impossible. So what do you do social media kwanza? Uh, Facebook na go by the name Zizo WZ I WZ O Baraka. Instagram Zo Music Double Z O Music uh, TikTok ndo Zig Music ah uh, Zig 254 Fe- uh, YouTube Zig Double Z Double Z Double Z I Double G Y simple Zig uh, Zig yeah so guys mmesikia story ya Zig hapa ni msanii alikuwa si upcoming ni msanii alikuwa kwa wa market msanii alikuwa kwa hii film anza alikuwa amemba mbango mbili tatu lakini jo juu ya life ya covid na familia hapa kule hapa kule zinaelewa tu yeah. so jamaa amekuja doa anakuja kama hasla anajituma is trying to come back but vitu tu unajua pia ground yenye tuko nayo hapa middle east kama mtaani so pia ku come back is very hard so guys support this guy watch his vida kama umefika mpaka hapa mwisho tunakushukuru jo na make sure ume like hii video umeacha ka comment ume subscribe umeenda kwa ngoma za zigi pale YouTube umeingia TikTok umemsaka kama yani msanii pia unadai collab nini amen kwa free kwa hapa kwa hapa, hapa to push mazee mimi silipishi man nilipishi hata hata pia interview si atulipishage ah. nikumit tu na tukae yeah. hata mimi naweza buy chai haina noma so guys <laughs> ni ukweli ni ukweli share yeah. and uh, come back to watch for the next video True. thank you guys cheers okay